Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and welcome back to my channel Fun with Teacher Science. So today we are going to see that what is standard deviation and how do we find a standard deviation. So by the time, first let's recall all the things that we have studied till now, that is a sample and population. We have studied the population variance, population mean, we have studied the sample variation and sample mean. So for the standard deviation, let's do one thing that let's write all the formulas here that whatever we have studied, so it would be more easy for you to understand all the things. So let's divide it into, let me write here as population and let me write here as sample, right? Okay. So now next here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to divide it in the, you can say first, I'm going to write the mean for population mean and the sample mean. Then what I'm going to write is the variance and then we will introduce you to the standard variation. So let me change the color. Okay, so what's the denotation for population mean? It's we write here as mu. We denote population mean by the symbol which is known as mu and the formula for it is summation of i is equal to 1 to capital N here. Capital N is the total population and here we write xi and we divide whole the thing by capital N where I have told you that this capital N is the total population. And what we do, do for sample is that we denote it by the uh, symbol that is on the X bar or you can call it as X and a uh, straight line upside. So here what we do is that we do the all the same things but what's the difference that we write a small N here that is the sample one and I write XI and divide it whole by small N. So these are the formulas for population mean and sample variance we denote population mean by mu and we denote sample mean by x bar right and now next we are going to take the variance and let me go upside okay so here now i'm going to write the variance that what's the formula for population variance and population sample okay so uh, let me again take the green color right so what's the denotation for population variance? It's sigma square as I had already told you. So what the, today we are only revising the things. So that's sigma square, right? And what's the formula that we write the summation? I is equal to one. And here we write capital N as I have told capital N is the total population. And what we write here is that XI minus mu. This mu is the population mean, right? Which I have discussed here only, right? and we divide okay oh, one second and we divide this whole by uh, not the sigma hold on a second we divide only the summation thing let's let's hold on hold on here and let's divide it by capital n right okay so this was the formula for population variance and we denote population variance using sigma square this symbol okay now the same thing for the sample variance we, do, we denote sample a sample variance as capital s to the square and here what i'm going to do is that i'm taking the summation i is equal to 1 to n and xi get this x bar this x bar is that the sample mean which i had discussed in the above and i'm going to divide it whole by n minus 1 and why n minus 1 this thing i had already discussed no so i'm not going to discuss this again once here okay so if you want you can refer that video it is there in the i button also and you can even refer in the description also so we have found that variance and mean for both the things now comes the standard deviation that how do we denote this standard deviation and what's the formula for finding this standard deviation so let me write this standard deviation and let me again take that color okay so this standard deviation is denoted by small uh, this sigma right we, we denote variance by sigma square and we denote standard deviation by sigma only right and what we do is that i do i write uh, we write here as sigma and the formula for standard deviation is sigma is equal to under root of sigma square so that means the sigma square whatever the formula we have written here that is i is equal to 1 to capital n then xi minus mu whole square divided by n so all these things comes under the root 
right so this is the formula for standard deviation and the same is for same sample variance that i write s is equal to under root of s square right so let me write the sample uh, population variance thing and i'm not going to write the sample variance so the sigma and xi minus mu to the whole square and which is divided by capital n right so this is the formula for a standard deviation and this is the way how we write a standard deviation and this is the way how to do we denote the standard deviation now the next thing that comes here is the uh, formula and the use for the formula so let's take an example here and let me take a different color and let me write it here question so i am taking some sample points here that is 1 2 3 8 and 7 right so i am going to take the sample points here and from this we firstly we, uh, for finding the standard deviation firstly what we need to find is the mean right and after mean we need to find out the variance and after variance the third thing that we need to find is the standard deviation so remember this that for finding variance first you need to now check this here for finding variance what you need to first find is the mean right and for finding standard deviation what we need to first find is the me okay hold on uh, just one second let me raise it it's looking a little mess and black oh. so for finding the standard deviation what we need to find is first the mean and then second the variance so i hope i made it clear to you that what are the things that we are going to first find and then find out the standard deviation so fine okay here now first i'm going to find the mean and the denotation for mean is mu i hope by the time you all must be familiar and you all must have learned the things so it's what the formula for uh, for this is sigma i is equal to 1 to n and xi which is divided by n so here what I'm going to do is that 1, 2, 3, 8, 7, right? And which is divided by 5. So its total is 21 by 5 and it's 420 point, 4 point something 2 you can write, right? So dividing 21 by 5 it's 4.2. Clear? So firstly what we have did is that we had find this mean and yeah why i'm finding this population mean because i have taken this population uh, data samples here right so this was the thing that i'm finding this mean population mean here and uh, the same thing scores for that sample thing also no much difference is there so now this mu uh, i have found the population mean now next comes is a variance thing that i need to find the variance so found for finding the variance what was the formula that it was xi minus mu and whole square so what i'm going to write is that xi as i had already told that this one will belong to x1 this x2 x3 x4 and x5 right so here this xi it will go from 1 to n and here it will go from 1 to 5 right so all the points will be covered so 1 minus and what's my mean it is 4.2 4.2 and then whole square right and we had used the summation sign in the formula so it will be added then next is 2 minus 4.2 whole square plus this 3 minus 4.2 whole square plus 8 minus 4.2 whole square and then again plus 7 minus 4.2 whole is square and this whole is divided by 5 right because 5 are the capital n in the formula so it is divided by capital 5 now you all can just calculate it and uh, i had already calculated and remember that the final answer for that so it's 38.8 by 5 right and when I'm going to divide it by 5, what answer I'm going to get is 7.76. So, my, my variance 
for the sample which was 1, 2, 3, 8 and 7 is 7.76. So let me write it here that uh, sigma square is equal to 7.76. Now here we had seen that for finding the standard deviation what we do is that we write denote for population we denote it by sigma and just we do it as under root right. So here what we are going to do is that just we are going to put the 7.76 in the root and the answer which we are going to get here is 2.79. So this is the standard deviation for the points which were there right. And the same if you want to find for the sample, uh, sample uh, sorry uh, the standard deviation for sample also. So what do you do is that the S square is that now here at there's a little of difference that all the things will remain same but this uh, sigma square will change to S square and it would be divided by whole n minus 1. So instead of 5 for our sample variance it would be divided by 4 and why 4 I had already discussed this thing in the previous video so for that you need to refer the previous video. So here the only change in the sample variance would be that we need to divide it by 4 nor 5 right so here i will divide it by 4 and the output which i will get here is oh, hold on okay where's my pen marker i can't okay here it is so what answer will i get is 9.7 right um so i have found all these things before only so that uh, we can't waste our time here so you all can do it on your own and for finding the you can say standard deviation for sample what we are going to do is that s is equal to under root of s square and for when we uh, do it under root so what i'm going to get is something 0.3.11 and like that so i hope i made the standard deviation thing clear to you that how do we find it for population and how do we find it for sample so the only thing that here is that first we need to find the mean for finding the standard deviation first we need to find the mean and then we need to find the standard uh, i'm so sorry firstly we need to find the mean secondly what i need to find is the variance it can be either population or either sample and firstly mean then variance and then i need to do the root of variance right so i will get the standard deviation here so this was a thing for the standard deviation we have discussed the uh, mean variance and standard deviation for population and sample and then we have taken an example one two three eight seven which was the population and here we found out the de uh, standard deviation for sample and population so I hope you got all the points that how to find this and what are the things. So this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye.